welcome to the second camera review vlog. It's a bit windy right now, so I'm curious how that comes through on the video. Uh, I'm using the camera and the microphone built in to the phone. This is a quick take video, hence the uh, aspect ratio being 4.3, not 16 by 9. Uh, we're gonna switch to a 16 by 9 video right now. So, this is a, like, not quick take. This is an actual selfie camera uh, video. This is the selfie camera on the iPhone XR. So, if you're researching what would a vlog look like on an iPhone XR, uh, this is it. I'm gonna film this whole video on the iPhone XR and I'm gonna edit it on the iPhone XR using LumaFusion. I've gotta say that it's very close to me. Like the 11 had a more wide angle camera. So this is just, this is about an arm's length away from me. It seems like too close, not like a wide enough angle for a vlog. I'm almost to the lake. We're gonna get some pictures and videos of the lake. Here we go. Okay, so can we focus on this? Or focus on this? It's only doing brightness. Well, let's get a like filmic. F I L M I C. Filmic Pro. Download that. Let's also, while we're at it, get Luma Fusion. Okay, we got Filmic. Uh, we're gonna give it permission for everything. We want focus to be on this. Oh, not this. Focus, here we go. So we want exposure to be on that, but focus to be on this tree. That's the clip I wanted. So it's lacking on, it doesn't have the two cameras of the 11. So Filmic doesn't work that great on it. I have been on an Android for a while. I've missed Filmic. Like, is that a thing that you can get on Android? I don't know. I think everything I use Filmic for is not use. I use it for the, like the focus and exposure aspect of it, uh, but it's not useful like on a phone that only has one camera and not even like a camera for like depth perception. Like if it had like a second camera for depth perception, that'd be nice, which it does on the front, but that's not helpful for taking videos of what's in front of me. Helpful for taking pictures of me, portrait photos. Not sure where I'm going, just kind of having a stroll around. So, see you in a minute. I just ended that video and then realized that I'm like right next to a water park. So I'll see you in there in just a minute. That's nice. I forgot to grab the key to this place. So I gotta walk home. What is this? Oh, okay. So let's try that again. So I am now on my way back. I got the key. Uh, I got a waterproof phone case that fits this phone. I'm gonna head to the pool. I'll check back with you in a minute. I am back to the water park. So I got the key. I'm ready to go. See you in there. So I got in the pool with the phone. Yeah, it had a waterproof case on it, 
but the waterproof case uh, broke a seal and water got into it. I would never trust a waterproof phone case uh, on a phone that does not have a waterproofing rating, a water resistant rating. Uh, so I trust it with the iPhones because this iPhone is one meter for a half an hour. So it's pretty waterproof on its own. Uh, chlorine water isn't too great. It's fresh water, no chlorine, but it's safe and nothing's wrong with the phone that wasn't already wrong with the phone beforehand. I gotta say, this here, this is proof that the iPhone could do Boca video. Like, look at this. This looks really good. If it wasn't for these little things here. Like, we, it could just do this kind of thing for Boca video and it would look really nice. But it can't, for some reason, without having these things here here and here and over here and here and I had to screen record this for this to work. And that is about all I have for you on this camera review. I've got to finish this video and get it uploaded. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below your thoughts. I actually, I want to know what you think about how the iPhone XR compares to the video from the Pixel. My thoughts will come in the review later on. Uh, if you didn't catch, I put a video out in the middle of the week, last week, and at the end of the video, I told about my blog, DawsonDesignProduction.com slash blog. It's all of my reviews, all of my phone reviews. So if you're looking for a phone, that is the place to go uh, to get my opinions. You can see all of the graphs uh, that I have come up with when doing these reviews. Uh, and some of the reviews on there I never posted on YouTube. Uh, there's like the iPhone 11, there's the Nokia 2.3. I never actually did a video reviewing that. So you can see my final thoughts on some phones that I didn't even do videos on. Uh, so if you're looking for a phone, uh, that is a good place to check out. So that's about all I have for you. Later.